this is the real Africa. This is the real wild. And you're going from seeing the city to uh, basically to nothing, just wild jungle Africa. And we land on this grassy strip and Pierre and his crew is there to meet us and they bring us back to the camp and uh, what a camp. He's got tents that you sleep into with showers and flush toilets. He introduced us to the crew and he took us back and showed us where you know, the supper's being made. Trust me, it is an adventure. Bob Safari with professional hunter Pierre Van Tonder is in the 21,000 square mile wilderness of Tanzania's Salu Game Reserve. When did it really start for me to go to Africa? It was back in the 80s when uh, I was exclusive archery hunting and I got a chance to go over and take some planes game with a bow and the government could watch and, and uh, to see how effective uh, an arrow could do and I wound up with taking seven animals. But I stress that you are in the wilds of Africa. You hear lions roar and hippos, you see them right from the hillside overlooking the river and, and the birds and the monkeys and all the sounds of Africa and the sunsets, I mean, it just is spectacular, you know. You're pinching yourself saying, yeah, I'm, I'm here, I'm finally here. I met Bob in, 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 in Dallas, in America, a guy by the name of Ed Tobias. Uh, introduced us and Bob said he believed that he was interested in coming to Tanzania. Pierre is quite a colorful guy. Uh, I can tell you for sure that the man is the real deal, you know, and uh, I kind of pride myself on hunting with people like Pierre because the memories that you make together last a lifetime. We're on the track for the buffalo. They came down and drank this morning. Now we're just trying to figure out where they are for sure. We're going to take these tracks. Okay. We didn't look, we're a little far behind, but to see if we can run them down. We ran into buffalo tracks. We kept moving on them, moving on them. They came down here and got a drink. They drank water, yeah? Yeah. The droppings isn't that cold. Uh, it hasn't dried on the edges, so let's go and have a look. Now it's just a matter of where they left this river after they got a drink. They've crossed this dry river bit. No, I don't know, down there. Or down there. Okay, let's go check this side first. If they, did, if they didn't cross here, they obviously crossed there. They drank water and then left. We haven't even seen it yet, but they know there's a good bowl in there. Out in Tanzania. Those trackers are just amazing. They're on the track and we was going through the high grass, we was going through the undercover of the forest and, and then we're breaking out into a, a dry river bed. And, and I mean, it's just, oh, it's exciting. You're right there and, you, and you're just listening any second. And, and then we prop down on the dry river, bam, and right there they are. Boom, that old 375 Winchester went off and boy, he pulled that shoulder up and he was limping down through there and poofing. I couldn't get that second shot off and he made it into the grass. I'll tell you, you've, you've heard stories, well, they're true. When, you, when you're walking in uh, after a wounded buffalo in the high grass, that makes your buttocks tighten. He was hurt when we hit him. That's always the exciting thing. Now we got to go in for him. I'm just going to check for blood, Bob. His, his 
hanging in with the herd. So, uh, I don't know how much penetration we got on that shot. Again, to reload. Okay, we might come at you, okay? There's a, there's a Cape Buffalo. And what a beauty he is, too. I mean, he had that circle just like Pierre's logo and that he's got on his shirt and his belt buckle. I mean, it was just, it, 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 was, it was a perfect one. Well done, Squire. Good job, man. <laughs>